Mr. Gristle is the most vile, evil little thing in the entire film. He's uh, probably the most, uh, I don't know, unstable, shall we say, of, of the Red Hats. It's like the Terminator robot. <laughs> If a Terminator robot was a tiny little Victorian thug. He doesn't see well. And I like him because we have the same taste in glasses. He's completely awful. He is single-minded. In that way, he's the perfect henchman. He's going to do absolutely everything that his boss hired him to do, which is go out and capture those box trolls, and that's what he does. The choir! <laughs> Come back and let me hit you! <laughs> So if you happen to have a scene where you have all three of the Red Hats and Snatcher, you've got four distinct personalities that you have to animate. They were all quite low maintenance as puppets to, to make and to keep maintained. And we're like, can we do a show with the Red Hats? <laughs> Here come the exterminators! Exterminate! <laughs> but don't that sound like we're the villains? We do go through great pains to bring these things to life. However, when the audience is sitting there in the cinema watching those first frames flicker on the screen, you want that to just fade away, and you want people to connect with these characters and their story and the emotional arc that they go on, their journey. And if they're thinking about technique, I guess on some level we've probably not done our job because you want people to just be invested in the story and the characters. After it's all said and done, you can have an appreciation for what's involved in making it, but in the end we really want to just tell the most powerful stories possible.